Hello everybody, welcome to another craft time. Today, craft, as you see, is a winter landscape sponge painting. How fun is this? Shall we start? Yay! Yes. All right, to make this uh, a like a beautiful paint, we are going to need a construction paper. It can be blue and can be any color that you want. Um, but I choose blue, dark or light blue. If you see, if you use light blue, please use um, bright colors. Um, like this one, this one, this one, right? Or, or something like pop into your paint, all right? Or if you want to do soft too, go ahead. It's winter anyways. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, let's start. Um, for this craft, I gonna, you're going to need a sponge. This is a sponge that you find in your kitchen, anywhere, okay? What you have to do is just cut it into like triangle, okay? Um, we, if you can have two or three, or, because I don't know how many colors you want to do, we're gonna do two, okay? And then the rest of the sponge, you can turn into like square little rectangle. So we're gonna use that for the bottom of the tree, okay? Also paint any color that you want. I'm gonna use for sure white and brown for the bottom. And any color that you choose, your trees will be. You choose pink and blue. Let's start. Um, first, I'm gonna start putting my my paint here. It's easier. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put it down a little bit. Okay. So as you see, I have these colors. All right. I'm gonna put some blue too. On this side, oh well, if it doesn't work, okay, have stuck a little bit. <laughs> Get some blue, right? Get some pink, that's what I choose today. Get some brown, yeah. And the way I put it here already, but you can also put in the tray. This tray is easy, practical, um, easy to watch, easy to handle too. So now. I'm gonna get the brush, okay? Quickly. Get brush. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> get a brush, and we're gonna start. The brush is gonna need because you're gonna need only the bottom. I don't need the brush really, but I need the bottom. All right. Let's start. So have the paper, right? What you're gonna do is take your sponge. This is a sponge too that you can make it also also from this round ones if you want to. All right, and you're gonna just dump, it, put it into the paint, white paint, and it's done stamping. Okay, when you're stamping, go everywhere that you want and keep going. I will need more paint. Bing bong. There you go. All right, let's start. You can dip a little bit like this, dip, it, dip, it, dip. And keep going. What you're trying to do is just stamp into your paint, okay? Ah, that's what I do. Stamp it. Once you're done, do it. This is going to be like this. No, the bottom. If you want to roll a little bit, play with your sponge. It's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, once you're done, do the stamp, okay? We're going to do the tree. I think it's good enough for me. That's good. Like it? Yeah. So we still have some paint, eh? The white paint. Now we're gonna get our colors. So first of all, I want you to get please the brown on the bottom first. We're gonna wanna work on the stacks first. Make sure you get all paint here. It had to be full brown. All right. I think that's enough. And you're going to place and whatever you want your tree to be, okay? So if you want your tree goes, you know, here, one, right? Take more paint, brown paint, go maybe on the top, yeah? One more, maybe button again, right? So in and out, in and out, and another one right here, right? Maybe right here. There you go. I placed my four bottoms for the tree. Okay. 
Then next we're gonna do is take our color. So the color will be pink, right? I'm gonna take my sponge. I'm gonna do pink first. Make sure you get a lots of paint into your sponge, okay? So that's why you need a tray because it's easy to move around. <laughs> Once you get full paint, go stamp. So what you're gonna stamp, whatever you wanna start, I'm gonna start here. Place down, tick it, tick it, tick it, tick it, tick. <laughs> Give a little pressure, a little bit, and left it. That's it. There's another pink. Mine's gonna be one pink, one blue, okay? Or turquoise. So the next one, I'm gonna escape one, I'm gonna put it here. Voila! Look at this. Now place on your side. Get your blue. Blue. Okay. Make sure you have lots of paint in, okay? Get the blue and a stamp. Let's do it here. There you go. And voila! <laughs> Charge again. More paint into your sponge. There you go. Lots of blue, eh? Lots of blue. I like this blue because the contrast with this dark blue, you know? So I'm gonna place it right here. There you go. And if it goes over to the other tree, fine. Don't worry about it. It will look good. All right. So we have our now our blue and pink tree. See, I did the stunts on the bottom. See, it looks like it actually is placing on the snow, right? That cool. That's so nice. So now we need to know that we need to do is the um the the snow, okay? So we have a day that is snowing. That's what we're trying to do. So it's a snowing day, and we're gonna use our white paint, okay? Deep on it. Sure is the bottom, okay? And we're gonna do and anywhere you think the snow want to be, anywhere. Anywhere, it doesn't matter. Okay, deep and go in the paper, deep and go in the paper, maybe twice. One, two, and keep going. Maybe one or two into the tree so it's not even over, right? The delusion that is actually going into the snow day. Beautiful, with the blue sky. Hey, <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's all about colors, guys. It's all about colors and imagination. When you're gonna start put your trees and into the paper, make sure you can you can decide where you wanna go, where your tree is gonna be, or how it's gonna be your path, right? I decided to be simple, like straight, because you just like it. But you can decide whatever you want. Maybe you wanna do a path, or maybe you wanna do a humongous mountain, eh? The snow and the put it this way too, right? And go this way and go gradually going down. Whatever in your mind is, place down in the paper. All right, that's it. Look at, I finished. Is that cool? I love it. And this one you can watch that later, right? So it's not a big deal. I'm gonna put it down. So we're gonna have a different views. One in the light paper and one in the dark paper. See. It just depends what colors you're gonna use, but those three are like they're very strong, stunning, really cute. <laughs> Have fun, guys! Uh, remember, it's only construction paper, sponges from the kitchen. You don't use it anymore. Cut into triangle, right? And that's it. And you can also watch it, use it for another other craft that you wanna do in the future. A stamp is a good way to start painting and give you a different sensation and. Uh, also dimensions because uh, you can do whatever shape you want and uh, that's it hope you like my craft i'll see you the next one have fun bye bye have a nice weekend <laughs>